Good evening, this is the Oscar Expert here at the Cannes Film Festival, and it's time to review Perfect Days. This is the latest film from legendary filmmaker Wim Wenders. Best known for his movies Paris, Texas, and Wings of Desire, but there are several other acclaimed films of his from the 70s and 80s, as well as acclaimed documentaries from the past couple decades. It stars Koji Yakusho as a middle-aged man who cleans public restrooms in Tokyo. The film follows him through several days in his life, and we get to know his repetitive routine. Each day has its own deviations, some significant, some slight. And while at first I was a little worried that the purposeful repetitiveness could wear itself out, the movie gently finds its way into profundity. It may be clear from the start that this movie is kind of about like appreciating the simple things in life, but it does reveal itself to be more than that, I think. I really felt like I understood this man by the end. Like I was slowly starting to see the world the way that he sees it. In a world of infinite choices, we begin to understand why he chooses the choices that he chooses. It's presented in a four by three aspect ratio. The style is unpretentious and nicely shot. The lighting looks very natural, sometimes very colorful, especially the distant city lights. And the movie is pretty well paced too. While we do watch him clean toilets for minutes on end, the movie isn't trying to test your patience with that. Watching the delicate process of this man is fascinating. Part of Koji Yakusho's performance is the physicality and watching him find comfort and meaning in his tasks, you know, as well as feeling some of the tediousness of it. This character does not speak a lot, a man of few words. He's very unassuming and gentle, but there is some mystery about him. And the movie pulls back the layers of this character just enough, careful not to over explain him. But as we find out more about him, Koji Yakusho reveals more of his character in delicate ways. There's a scene at the end where the camera is holding on his face and it will probably get you to tear up at least. I think that he might win the best actor prize here. And I would love to see some actual like best actor Oscar hype for him if we, if we could be so lucky. There are some solid supporting performances too. Arisa Nakano as his niece who comes to visit. Her scenes are some of the best in the movie. I love watching her character's curiosity about her uncle's life. And in many ways, the movie implores us to be more curious about other people's worlds. The film is soundtracked by our main character's favorite tunes that he plays in his van. The music communicates a lot of what our character does not. Yeah, the lyrics can be like pretty obvious at points, but it does speak to how what we consume is part of who we are. And in the same way, listening to someone's favorite music is getting to know them. I love the joy on this character's face when other people take interest in his music or what he's reading. I also love this choice where every time he goes to bed, we get this short abstract black and white montage that seems to be like how his subconscious is retaining images of the day. That really added a lot to the movie and it made me consider how every moment of our days are internalized. This is one of my favorite movies in competition. It's delicate and moving. I would say that I'm at a very high eight out of 10. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Are you perfect?